Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do a wireless deauthentication denial of service attack. Uh, go ahead and do an IF config to look at our interfaces and go ahead and scan for different wireless access points in the area with an IW list WLAN 0 scanning. Alright, and now go ahead and find the network that you're wanting to perform the attack on. And here's my wireless access point here, Soggy Meatball. Uh, go ahead and make note of the channel. It's channel 6 and copy the MAC address for that wireless access point. Alright, uh, then we need to turn on uh, monitor mode. So uh, do an Airmon NG, start WLAN 0. And then we'll do an IF config just to verify that. And yep, we have our MON0 interface, which is our monitoring interface. And now we're going to use AeroDump NG, MON0, and then specify the channel that our access point was on, so channel 6. Uh, then BSSID, and then we're going to paste the MAC address for our wireless access point so that we can sniff just traffic that is going to and from that access point. Okay, and this will show us the stations that are connected to the access point. Um, currently I only have my one laptop connected to it, but that's the one that we're going to perform the attack on. So, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and press control C to close that out or to stop the error dump. Um, now we're going to use uh, the, or perform the actual attack with air replay dash ng then dash zero to specify deauthorization packets or uh, deauthentication packets uh, then specify the number of packets then dash a and then we're going to specify the access point MAC address and then we're going to do dash c and specify the client MAC address and then mon zero for our interface and we'll go ahead and run that attack uh, you know what, just for good measure, let's make this a thousand packets that we're going to send over. And then we'll go ahead and launch it. And as you can see, we are getting acknowledgement packets back from our host. Basically what this did is it, it spoofed deauthentication packets from the wireless access point, sending them to the client to uh, stop the connection between the two. So now onto our Windows machine, and we currently have the Nyan cat running, hoping to kill this cat. So, um, and as you can see in our taskbar, it actually still shows that we're connected, but in reality, it actually just hasn't updated. Um, we've still got some of the cached video going, but uh, if we go ahead and try to access something else, uh, Google.com, or if we try to run. Uh, YouTube, you'll see that we cannot access it at all. Um, in addition to this, our, we can't actually even click our wireless interface option on the taskbar. Um, it's completely unresponsive. And it doesn't matter how many times I click this, it's, it's not going to give me anything. Um, however, we could try to access it from control panel to try to reconnect with our wireless adapter in Network and Sharing Center. And as you can see, even clicking that, that's completely unresponsive as well. Um, still can't do, well, we, it looks like we almost got a response over here. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's still pretty much completely unresponsive on the taskbar as well and still getting nothing in control panel uh, we can go ahead and try to open up another one um, basically what I'm trying to do is 
just show that recovering from this attack is extremely difficult to do about the only way that you're going to be able to reconnect to any wireless access point at this point is going to be to reboot your computer um, you can go ahead and try to open up another control panel to still try to get into it uh, open up network and sharing center uh, it actually opened this time um, let's go into our adapter settings and up oh, there we go okay Windows Explorer is not responding and actually even crashed Windows Explorer so that is our wireless deauthentication denial of service attack.